has not been um, affected by the um, punishment that has come Leroy Brown's way. But right now, with that stomach claw there, he is liable to be. He is having his problems as that powerful right hand of Carl Van Krupp literally eats into the midsection of Dusty Road. And look who's there, making sure that he is able to add to the misery of Dusty Road, the all-American dream. So Dusty's caught, and Hart is being shielded by by Von Krupp. Now, Dusty's on the outside of the ring. He deserves a chance right now to get back in the ring. The count should only be five on Von Krupp, but look what's happening with Gary Hart out there. Well, maybe we want to see what's happening to Dusty Rhodes out there. Dusty right now is trying to get out from underneath that chair that's pressing down on him and somebody is going to either be counted out or disqualified in this particular melee. Dusty, the man is up and trying to do something and oh, whoa, 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 how he clobbered him. Now those two belong in the ring. The count has been broken. And here comes Von Krupp, and we've got Gary Hart and Leroy Brown up here above us, but they belong outside the ring. But we've got two matches going on at the same time as everything busts loose here, and the, the claw hole, the eye claw is being put on, on uh, Dusty Rhodes, and you can see the battling in the background. Gary Hart is through the ropes, and Leroy is chomping down on his eye and trying to get even with him for what happened in the first fall. But his own partner is having his, his problem. Dusty trying to fight his way loose from the claw hole. The effort of that huge hand of Carl Von Krupp. And, and uh, above us again, you see Gary Hart. Now you can see him being whomped by Leroy Brown as Sweet Sweet is being ushered out of the ring. And again, the tide changes as for a moment it looked as though Dusty was going to be able to fight his way out of the claw hole. But then he was jerked down onto the canvas again. Of course, that's the most advantageous position. And listen to those fans now urging Leroy to bounce into the ring and to kick Krupp away. But Leroy is trying to, rather, Dusty is trying to handle it by himself. And he went to the wrong corner. And he has taken a tremendous amount of punishment. Here comes Trump, looking for the lead. And Dusty was looking for him. We've got Dusty on top. We've got it. Sweet, sweet Leroy Brown kept Gary Hart from interfering as Dusty won the equalizing fall. The second fall goes to Rhodes and Brown, and with people scattered all over the ring, we tell you we'll be back here in a moment. And there goes the bell for the start of the third fall, and sweet, sweet Leroy Brown has come into the ring helping Dusty out, but Dusty pushes him aside and wants to come in and do it himself, and you can see that he has something with which to do it. Outside, we see Gary Hart, but we see Dusty Rhodes doing something about it. Well, he started to do something about it, but he sort of jabbing the eye, and now he's calling for the eye claw outside. Dusty Rhodes getting the eye claw applied to him. 
So Rhodes caught in the eye claw as the cheering section was led just by one, and that was Gary Hart. And here is the German again in to apply the the claw to the head or to the eye, I'm not sure which. And Dusty Rhodes goes out of the ring to escape the punishment. And whether he will or not remains problematical because we've got the claw following him out here. And here comes Leroy Brown coming around here to try to add a little help to Dusty Rhodes. Dusty's now moving up the aisle in the wrong direction. And fans all over patting him, cheering him, telling him to what to do. And Leroy now wants to maneuver, but Dusty's got to go back in the ring and he's got to touch Leroy over in the corner. Man, it's the eye claw that he's using right now, and there was no effort to break it by the referee, so he's looking at it as being, being legal. And they caught again, sounding off with that same chant of his eye claw, eye claw, eye claw, and the reinforced grip of Carl Von Krupp as he pours it onto the head of. Dusty Rhodes, and Rhodes has taken a lot of punishment in this second fall. It was Brown who caught most of it in the first fall, but Dusty has been doing yeoman work for his team in there, and while he is caught in that claw, there are not many of these fans who are counting Rusty uh, Dusty out. There's the touch, and here is a man who would like nothing better than to pin either Dusty Rhodes, who christened Gary Hart Honky, or to pin sweet, sweet Leroy Brown, who broke his contract to him. Trouble for Dusty Rhodes. He's underneath, and... Now, he's just coming right out and trying to use a an eye gouge on, on Dusty Rhodes with both hands, but notice what's happening in the background. The touch as Leroy comes in, and it's Dusty who does it. He may get the pin. He got it. it uh, Dusty Rhodes who fell on Gary Hart to pin him. It was Sweet, sweet Leroy Brown, who applied the battering ram on one side.